Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to be talking about an aspect of fungal structure called hyphae. Specifically talking about three different kinds of hyphae. That is septate hyphae, coenocytic hyphae, and pseudohyphae. So first let's talk about what, hy what a hyphae, what hyphae are. So the singular term for hyphae is a hypha. So that's the singular, one hypha. It's a long branching filament. Um, we see them in fungi. And when we get many hyphae together, this is how you spell hyphae plural. So when you get many hyphae together, they form this kind of tangled mass that we call a mycelium. So now that we've established some of that vocabulary, let's start looking at our three different kinds of hyphae. First, we have septate hyphae. Septate hyphae are those that have cell walls um, between the individual cells, and these cell walls are called septa. Uh, and so septa, this is where we get the term septate. They have these cell walls that we call septa between the individual cells. And these, these septa have pores in them. And these pores are large enough for things to move between them from one cell to another. So you can see here an example of septate hyphae where we have the septa separating individual cells, but again, they've got these pores. So things like ribosomes, mitochondria, even nuclei can actually move between cells in septate hyphae. And as you'll see, the three different types of hyphae, we're classifying them based on properties of cell division. And so here we have full cell division, although those pores are present. In our next type, coenocytic, sometimes pronounced senocytic, uh, these are also called aseptate hyphae. And that is because they lack the septa. So you can see in the drawing here, they completely lack any kind of cell wall or cell membrane between the cells. And so these orange circles that you see are the nuclei. And whereas the nuclei in the septate hyphae were separated by the septa, here they're not separated by anything. And so they lack those cell walls and cell membranes. And so um, coenocytic or aseptate hyphae, they really function together. They function like a single unit. Um, multiple nuclei, but in a very coordinated fashion. Now let's go on to talk about our third type, and that is pseudohyphae. Pseudohyphae is the result of an incomplete budding type of process. So budding is how um, one yeast cell will give rise to a daughter cell. And so in this process, you'll have unicellular yeast cells that actually stick together following cell division. So rather than one cell, um, a, a new cell budding off of an old cell and then they become completely separated, instead they're sort of stuck together still. However, there's no cytoplasmic connection. So with both aseptate and septate hyphae, you have the, this, um, these connections between the cytoplasms of the cells, that doesn't exist with pseudohyphae. So no cytoplasmic connection. You can see that they're just kind of stuck together with their cell walls, but um, you couldn't have things moving between the cells, um, at least not things like uh, ribosomes and mitochondria and so forth. So if you want to learn more about fungi, please see my video on introduction to fungi where you can get a lot more information about fungal um, structure and fungal physiology. And thanks for watching Biology Professor. I'll see you next time.